Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and I am back for Trinity Stamps. I'm going to share with you some quick and easy Valentine's Day project that your kids can make with you showcasing the Smitten stamp set. This is a really cute stamp set and is very easy to color with your kids. I am also going to use the Happy Sentiment stamp set and this includes that nice script Happy that you can layer with the other stamp Stamp, little stamps there that you can use for any occasion. I am also going to use this layering hearts stencil and this is nice because not only does it have the positive but it also has the negative pieces on it. Also I am going to use the coffee mug standalone die set and this is perfect if you are creating a coffee theme card and this is big enough that it will fit in an A2 size envelope. To begin I'm going to use my stamping tool here and stamp the images using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and as you saw I was just rubbing my fingers on the stamp because this is the first time I'm using the stamp set and I want to have a great impression. I stamped the image and then I will be using my tri-blend markers. These are alcohol markers and this is really great because you get three markers in one. You don't have to guess about the colors that you need to use to blend them from dark to light. And these will be easier for the kids to use because it also has a bullet nib. And I really love it. So I'm, I started there with the light color and then I added the dark color and now I'm going with the medium. And as you can see, I'm just going with like a circular motion to blend the colors together and have a perfect gradation between dark and light. And now I am going to use the layering heart stencils and I apologize there for my cat. She always likes to disturb me when I'm crafting. I sprayed the stencils with pixie spray so that it holds better when you're adding the color to your cardstock. I will also be using the Trinity Stamps brushes to add the color and these brushes are so nice because it's so soft and it blends like butter. I'm using the Stress Oxide inks and I decided to use blue because it goes really well against the pink and the red the red images. I really love the layering heart stencils because it includes the positive and the negative and you can use it to mask your cardstock. <music> I die cut a piece of black cardstock and I prep that with my powder tool. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with Versamark ink and then sprinkle some white embossing powder to this and heat set this with my heating tool. Since I used a powder bag there to prep the cardstock, I just used my 
microfiber cloth so that it takes away the excess powder. Now I'm using some sprinkles, some heart sprinkles that are available at the shop just to add more details to this card and to adorn the card. I'm going to adhere this on an A2 size card base and now we are done with the first card. For the second card, this is actually a gift card holder and I am using this coffee mug card standalone die set and I die cut the coffee mug and now I'm just using the pieces to just color the top part of the mug so that it looks like it has it's a coffee mug. So I'm just using my tri-blend markers again to color that piece and then I will be using my liquid adhesive to adhere this on top of that mug. I've die cut the inside piece and I will adhere this using my tape runner and this is the part where you can include a gift card for the teacher like a Starbucks gift card so your kids can make this with you. I just placed the image on my stamping tool and I am once again rubbing my fingers on the stamp because this is the first time I'm using it and I will I actually use VersaFine Black Onyx ink to get a nice dark impression of the sentiment. Those are the projects today and as you can see they are very easy to make and your kids will have a ton of fun making them with you. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day only. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions please leave a comment down below. The supplies I use will be listed and linked. Don't forget to subscribe to Trinity Stamps blog, Facebook, Instagram for more design team inspiration. Thank you again for joining us today and happy crafting!